Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I can't believe 2022 is coming to an end. It went really quickly, but also very incredibly slowly. I don't know if you can relate. I'm excited to be doing some goal setting and planning for 2023. Now I've done a couple monthly resets this past year. I really enjoyed them. They really set the month up so well. So I figured I would do a new year's reset, a January plan with me and a little bit of an updated notion tour because I've changed a couple things as I've really been getting more into Notion. So I'm excited to share it all with you. I'm also going to include, as always, a new MacBook customization. I do this every single month. I quickly edit it in Canva, changed my desktop, and any of my internet browsers that I use. I actually hadn't been doing that a lot, more so with the season, but I'm gonna change it because it's like a bit Christmassy at the moment. So this is my background right now. It is very Christmassy, neutral, very cute. I really loved it. If you wanna watch me customizing fully and like a how-to sort of video, I will be linking it in the description and the card above. But today I've made it already. It's a bit of a different theme that I'm gonna go for. So I'm just gonna right click and set to background. Actually, nope, this is the one I need because it is the to-do list one. I will have to do some arranging of the folder icons here and it's kind of hard to see them because they are white. That's one thing I kind of hated when I realized what I did with the last customization, I made them snowflakes. But when you open a folder window, or sorry, when you open a finder window, you can't see the actual folder icons when they're white. So I learned from my mistakes. I won't do that again necessarily, but they were cute when the background wasn't as like light white. So I'll just move those here and I'm also gonna just clean them up. Once you select them, you just go to view and then clean up selection. And then I'm gonna drag my to-do list and change the font color by going to show fonts and I'm gonna use the dropper tool to select this darker gray color, I think. I'm gonna change the folder icons as well as the rest of my desktops. I'll drag the window to here and do the same with my last desktop. Cute, I really hate this being here. That's so much better. Okay, now let's change the folder icons. It's gonna be a more classic like folder, but it's like a cute kind of drawn folder, which I really like. So let's open it up. I made two versions, but I settled on this one. But all you do is Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, and then right click on the folder you'd like to change, select the folder icon you have, and Command V to paste. So I'm gonna just repeat the process for every single one so that they're all changed. Perfect. I feel like maybe I could change this icon. I don't wanna make it the same, but I'm not gonna do that, at least this time. But you do have the option. You can, like any other folder icon, change your hard drive kind of symbol to anything you'd like. So go ahead if you want to. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And that is my desktop, nice like New Year's theme. Clouds for like dreaming big this year is gonna be my <laughs> mantra. I don't know, my theme for the year. And then of course, cause Anthony and I are having our wedding celebration this summer. Finally, I'm very excited and a bit nervous. There's lots to do, but that's the photo there for that. So now moving on to Notion where I do all of my planning for the month. This time I'm also going to do a 2022 reflection as well as goal setting for 2023. But let's start off with my homepage. Now, if you've watched any of my monthly resets, you'll notice that I did change the these icons to something a bit different as well as add the weather for Charlotte as well as Toronto. I had Toronto already. We are now in North Carolina for a little bit as you can tell by the different filming setup. I'm very excited to be here for a little bit, spending time with Anthony's family before I head back to Toronto for hopefully my immigration interview. <laughs> We're just we're really just trying to manifest a speedy process because it's taking a long time, but I digress. So this is that. And then I also have a cover photo here with kind of like an inspiration board sort of thing that I made in Canva as I make all of my graphics and things on. So yeah, that is my homepage with each section of my whole notion. Originally, I'm pretty sure I used Michelle Kanemitsu's whole template and I've taken inspiration from a YouTuber named Alexis L. 
Eldridge. She does a lot of plan with me's and she kind of inspired me to start doing them as well and my own kind of inspiration and this is where it's taken me. So I'm scrolling down on the homepage as well. I have a couple photos that I've changed to just be New Year's cozy. I want to do a lot more reading in this month and this year and just some other nice aesthetic cozy photos to kind of tie in the theme. So the first page here is the weekly agenda. Oh, I was going to mention where I got these icons. I ended up downloading them from notion.vip, actually not downloading. And they have a bunch of Notion icons that are nice and minimalist and simple. So I just removed the icon here to show you. So I copied the icon and then I'll click add icon and all of a sudden it's a church. But you click custom and then you paste the link that you copied and it will change the icon to that. Before I had it, just all of these icons that come with Notion, which was nice. I mean, I liked them. They were a bit smaller than these ones, which I like how big these icons are. But there's not really a workout one that I love on this page. There's like this runner somewhere here. Yeah, so there's this runner that could be the workout page, but I don't like it as much. So I just kept some of the icons, see how it's smaller and this one's bigger, but I changed a lot of them because I like them better. My weekly agenda is my first main page and this is where I plan out my week. I also use the reminders app. I more so plan out my day on the reminders app and I include what time I should be doing things as you can tell, I'm incredibly behind today. I'm not always on top of it. On my weekly agenda, I just plan out more or less what I'm doing. So on Monday, it is the 2nd of January, which is my birthday. So nothing crazy planned. I know we're gonna go out for dinner, but I'm not really like planning anything out for that day. And then on the 3rd, I haven't really thought out specifically what I'm doing, but I did end up filling a bunch of things out here of what I need to be doing this month. So maybe Tuesday is the day that, actually no, I need to film. So I'm going to film my next video for the 7th, which will be book recap slash review video. Basically going through all the books I read in 2022. I'm sure I'll get to doing other stuff, but that's like the main priority and anything on the back burner might be like set up like to know it page, which I have yet to do. I'm like procrastinating it. So I'm going to do that. And then if I don't do that that day, I'm going to kind of finish setting it up on Wednesday and then edit. If not, I will continue editing it on Thursday if I don't finish so that it is ready to post. And really I schedule my video. So when I put it there, I just mean like, by the way, it's being posted, promoted, that kind of thing. I do need to do some wedding planning. Honestly, next week is just gonna be a full on wedding week, plus some YouTube and like work stuff that I wanna get done. I'll see what I fill in for Saturday, Sunday, but for now, I think that's what I'm gonna include and then move around things as I kind of get them done. Next up is workouts. So this is more like my weekly plan of what I want to do. And that's a big goal for 2023 that I want to do. And so my workouts really have not consisted of this at all, but I hope to do the 30 day yoga journey with Adrian. I think this year it's called Center. So I'm excited to do that with Anthony. I will slowly move into one body part a day as I progress, but I really want to work out like five times a week. That's the goal. Moving Moving on to content planner. Now this has been the page that I have visited the most in the past month. As you may know, I tried my hand at Vlogmas, not a very traditional Vlogmas, posting basically every day through the month of December up until Christmas. And I succeeded more or less. I did skip a day here because things got kind of messed up when one of my videos took like five years to process. But I am very proud of myself. Even though Vlogmas did not go as I expected, I really thought it would do better than it did. Did. The views were abysmal, but it's okay. If you want to check those out, please feel free. I really enjoyed filming them. Obviously our Banff trip was like the most cozy thing. So while it didn't go as I expected, I'm proud that I did it. And that is my content calendar for December. It's ridiculously full, crazy. And so January looks a little bit like this. Nothing so far. But like I mentioned, I have that video plan for the book kind of recommendations. I kind of had this on my Vlogmas plan but then didn't end up doing it and then I have to add a bunch more videos so I am thinking of doing a little mini Sephora haul because I ordered a couple of things and then I also want to do my bridesmaid proposal video that I have filmed but I don't have it edited yet 
and that'll be going up on a Wednesday because I had started like a wedding Wednesday kind of thing. I only posted two videos, but I want to get back into them. And then on the Saturday, I have no idea. If you have anything you want to see, leave them in the comments. I will definitely consider them and put them in my ideas list and potentially film them in the month of January. The next page is a page for kind of my freelance work, which I have a couple projects with like voice acting and editing podcasts and things like that in the works. So that's more so personal page. I won't get into that. And then I have my content tracker. I never did a plan with me video for December, but I did do a little bit of filling stuff out for the month of November. So I have that here and I was at 1,300 subscribers, over 10,000 watch hours and over 250,000 views, which is very exciting. And I actually did meet my goal. My goal was 1,300, which we'll get to the monthly goals in a second. So I'm going to fill out for December, pulling up my YouTube analytics. I haven't been putting the specific number, but just what it shows at two 295.6 thousand. So that's what I'll put as well as 12,400 watch hours. Wow. Subscribers, I am at 1,423 as you watch this video. Or, well, no, at this moment. When you watch this video, hopefully it'll be a few more. I never tracked it for Instagram. So for December, I am currently at 1,663, so I did grow, which is exciting, but I guess the comparison is between October and December. I guess that doesn't really mean that I grew as much as I could have, because that's October, but it's whatever. The accounts reached is 5,622, and accounts engaged Oops, 391. So very small amounts of growth. I didn't really focus on Instagram. I mean, I started a bit of posting after going to Banff. I'm gonna get into that as one of my New Year's goals. TikTok is just like no man's land at this point. I feel like I should focus more on TikTok as well. I'm only at, <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm only at 132 followers. I don't even want to share how many views. That's just the last 28 days. But yeah, one thing at a time, I'll get there eventually. So that is my content tracker page. I love the cover photo at the moment. I just love the way this page looks. And then moving on to the big one. Now I did not have a 2022 goals page on Notion before because I only started doing plan with me's in, I think it was just in September. So I'm excited to do some 2023 goals. I think the theme for the year, what was the theme that I said earlier? <laughs> Dream big or something? No, I think that was what it was. And growth, just like I want to grow, not just in social media and YouTube and everything, but you know, in myself. Now this was Michelle Kanemitsu's template or from her template. And so the categories are self, family, friends, money, career, creativity slash hobby and lifestyle. This is a photo that she had and I changed some other photos. And I also did a little vision board at the top here with a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to either manifest or I'm looking forward to for the year. So I'm gonna start filling out my goals. Now I have a bunch of goals that I wrote down as the end of the year was nearing. So, okay, I already filled one out. Cook more often and try new healthy recipes. Actually, no, that wasn't me, but I love that. Try more healthy recipes. Working out five times a week. There's other like little things that I don't know if they'd fit into a category. Like I need to get digitally organized. Maybe that's more lifestyle as well as honestly in my life. I want to try and be a little bit more intentional with the things that I keep in my life so I have less clutter, so that I have a less cluttered mind. Something to think about for the new year. Be more intentional with stuff. With stuff, with things I own or things I decide to buy. Along the same vein, I wrote down manage old YouTube libraries, delete older ones, keep exported final videos, question mark, question mark. Do you do that if you're a YouTuber? Do you delete really old YouTube libraries to create space? I'd love to know. I need to sell my clothes. So I wanna do that and I also wanna go through my clothes that I also have at my parents' house in Florida and declutter my life. Something that I can put on self, I guess. I wanna become more of a morning person. I wanna get up earlier in the morning and with that, I want to go to bed earlier. So just create 
create a better routine for myself, a bit more of a healthy routine, which comes into play with like the working out, eating like a really nice balanced breakfast to start the day off, things like that. Just create better routines for myself, it's a good one. And then money, I am making money on YouTube, which is really great, obviously not enough. So once I'm able to be in one place and immigrate to the US, I definitely want to not just like apply to jobs, but like find a job I love that will also sustain me financially because while I love doing this, it's definitely not going to be financially stable for a while. I mean, if I can keep going, which I really want to, and maybe eventually get there, that would be the goal. But right now I need to find a job I love that will sustain me. But I'd also like to make a goal of YouTube revenue or at least like social media in general. Maybe that's under career here for now. Land first sponsorship. I've had a few companies reach out and send me some gifted products, which has been really exciting. And I have shared them as they've come up, but I haven't had a video that was paid or anything like that. So I'd love to be able to do that soon within this year, that would be amazing. So that is a content career goal of mine. I also want to build a website and kind of not do it from scratch from scratch, but like do it myself and kind of have a blog that could supplement my YouTube videos as well as part of that website. So that is part of my career goals for 2023. In January and February, I want to get a website started. And then for money, going back to that is kind of the sponsorship thing, but then also I'd like to make more on social media and not just be like trickles of income, but more of like a side hustle. It stopped recording. I don't know where it stopped, but I think I was saying the highest I've made on YouTube has been around 180 something dollars Canadian in a month. And I've only been monetized a very short time. So it could be a little bit more this month, but I don't think it will be. I think it'll be around the same. I'd love to make $500 a month. Is that too big of a goal? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. No, this is a whole year. This is 2023. By the end of the year, I think I can get up to $500 in a month or more. That would be lovely. And that's not even thinking about any kind of sponsorships. So big goals, but we're reaching big. We want growth this year. So that's where I'm at. For family, I'm excited to be in North Carolina and I just want to try and be able to focus on spending more time with Anthony's family because we spent a lot of time with my family in Canada. I feel badly that we haven't spent as much time here, but of course I'm moving here. So it's a little bit different. I have to FaceTime my grandparents more. And of course, can't forget my parents. For friends, I want to have bi-weekly calls. That's the one thing that I'm like really scared about moving to the US is while my family, like my parents, they have a home in Florida, I'll be able to see them I feel like more often than obviously, I mean they're my family, I'll see them more often than my friends, but I know that I'll be seeing a lot of my friends way less when I move to the US. So I'm not excited for that. That's like one, the one thing I'm really sad about. We did a really good job during COVID to stay in touch and have calls and everything. And so I'm hoping to keep that up just to connect and keep in touch and then eventually invite them here, you know, to our future place and like see them more often. Moving on to creativity slash hobby. I'd love to craft more. I got a Cricut this year. I've been able to do a couple projects here and there that are pretty small. For Christmas, I made these like cute little gift tags. It was a last minute idea, but stuff like that. I just like to be a little bit more creative with crafting more regularly. I can't think of another one on the spot, but if I do, I'm sure I'll be filling these out even more in the month of January as things come up career, I'm still not done. I have more goals. <laughs> I have more goals. Of the year 2023, it might be a big goal, but I'd love to reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and 3,000 on Instagram. And that is it for career at the moment. Like that is my career for now. Now time for monthly goals. General goals, I haven't sold my clothes, I'm not working out five times a week, and I haven't created the LTK page, the like to know it, which is like an affiliate marketing page. So I'm gonna leave those there. I think a general monthly goal for this month, finish, main wedding planning. So the big things. So those will be my five monthly goals. And then moving on to content goals, I did check off the 1,300 subscribers. I made that goal in October for November. And then I made the goal for 1,500 for December, which I did not meet. 
That's okay, I will get there pretty soon, and so I will make it a goal to get to 2,600 subscribers by the end of January. Not sure if that will be possible, but that's what it's gonna be. And then I didn't reach that goal for Instagram, but I'm gonna keep it the same. I'll keep 300 followers on TikTok even though, who knows. And Vlogmas 2022 is checked. I did it, so <laughs> that's exciting. Next up is wedding planning. Like I said, we're almost there, but we do still have a bunch of stuff to do. So uh, this is something I changed from my last notion and I had it like this in a, like a checkbox to-do list form on my monthly goals. I copy and pasted that and instead made it into this style where I can drag the box into in progress or complete as I complete it. So we're almost done collecting addresses. We have a few more people that we still need to get their addresses or their emails. Send, save the dates. We're still technically in progress, but we're mostly done. I have not narrowed down the timeline. We'll leave that there. Order slash make invitations. I haven't decided. That'll be there. Start registry, haven't done yet. We booked transportation, so I can put that incomplete. That was a big one that I was stressed about. Find florist. I have a list that I haven't reached out to, so I'm gonna still leave that on to do. Book hair and makeup team, haven't done that. Add accommodation recommendations, that's something to do with our website that we just need to put more of our room blocks and information on the website for people to know. That's where we're at with wedding planning. There will be more things to add to the list of to-do list, like, oh, bridesmaid dresses, alter my wedding dress. I gotta find a veil. There's a bunch of other things, bachelorette, lots of things to add, but I'm gonna keep it like that for now so it's more manageable. Now this is another page that I've added, the monthly reflection. I would really like to start doing this every single month. So one word to describe this month. I think the word has to be festive. I mean, we did a whole lot of festive stuff in Vlogmas, so that's one. Memorable moments. Highlights, things you, you're proud of or anything you want to remember. Highlights were definitely Banff. I am so proud that I did Vlogmas. I mean, it was so hard and it took up most of my time. And then anything you want to remember. My first Christmas with Anthony's family. I mean, I have spent Christmas with his family before, but it's been with my family. Not that that was a bad thing, but we've never spent Christmas here at his family home and it was lovely. We got to see his niece and she opened Christmas presents and it was like the cutest thing. And then things I learned. I'll never be a daily vlogger. Um, I like to ski. Yeah. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I really liked doing it. I like think about going again. Didn't think that would happen. Cold weather vacations are not all that bad. I was really excited for all the cozy vibes and I was worried because I'd never been on a cold weather vacation that I would maybe actually secretly hate it, but I actually didn't. And winter's not that bad, especially when you just left Canada for North Carolina. Winter's definitely not that bad when you're on the outside looking in. Things I want to improve on. I just want to focus on my health more. I want to to eat more nourishing foods, move my body more, oh, develop better routines, that's part of the health aspect, and that's where I'm at. Okay, for budget tracker, I'm not gonna do this page, but I will show you what I did end up filling out in October. I ended up deleting this bit, so I would say December, but I'm actually just gonna put January. It's a little bit too complicated having gone from Canada to the US. Different currency, I was gonna fill this out, and then and I was like, no, I feel like it's a waste of time. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it. There is something to say in my monthly goals and that is spend less money. We went over budget for Christmas gifts, <laughs> so yeah. The next page is my reading list. I'm gonna go more into this in the next video. These are the books that I read since having started Notion, not the books that I read in 2022. That list is way longer. Currently reading Where the Crawdads Sang. Took a pause because I was so busy. Another page that I haven't really focused on so much, but I did add this recipe that we made. It was a hit. It's the Butternut Squash Carbonara from Half Baked Harvest. Here is the link. I can leave the link in the description if if you want it. And since I want to cook more healthy meals, I want to start adding to this page way more. So I've left it outside of the archive extras folder, which I can show you real quick. That's that. They're just pages that I ended up putting on the back burner, like the 2023 goals or like the year goals page, as well as the monthly reflection that I wanted to kind of get into once I got used to Notion more. And that's where it came in. I didn't want to delete it. So I had to start over. So I just put them in this folder and added it 
it when I was ready. Before we finish, I realized I never changed my internet browser backgrounds. So this is the image I just downloaded on Google. And when I open up Safari, that's what I've got for Christmas and for the holiday season. I'm going to change it. There we go, very wintry and mystical. And then I also use Google Chrome as well. And that is the background I currently have. I found this Happy New Year one, so I figure I'll do that. And that is it for my yearly slash monthly reset in January plan with me. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below if you have any goals in mind for 2023 totally okay if you don't and subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate you watching and i hope you have a wonderful new year bye everyone